Well, hello, here we go. Another day, another way. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee, and you're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through BronxNet social media, BronxNet TV. Now, leading things off, our first guest is a youth teacher for the Lifestyle Ministry Series, and she's uh, with us today to speak about how her, her church has this online series and how they got started and why faith has played such a, an impactful role in her work with our youth. So please welcome to the show, Letitia Davis. Letitia, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for the opportunity to speak on something yeah. amazing that I feel like our church is doing. Yeah, so you have this online service going on and uh, you know a lot of people had to go to that uh, due to the pandemic, but um, you got it going on. How's it working out for you? It's working out very well, I um, I must say. And of course, um, teaching the youth, they're the best with the gadgets, right? Oh, yeah. So I think they're doing better with the online than the adults are. I yeah. will say that. But it, it's going very well. We are now on the YouTube platform as well as on our church platform, the two different areas where people can, can jump online and... Um, look at the lifestyle ministry series that was developed because of the pandemic and we yeah. felt that okay we need to we need to stay in contact the church wasn't physically open we actually still not physically open we're still doing everything virtual and we just needed to do something to just connect um and just still a word of encouragement and hope because words are powerful words make oh. you words break you you know That's right so this series definitely, um, you know, gave birth last year because of the pandemic and it's been, wow. it's been a beautiful, and we've been getting very good feedback. We should come over and help you guys out with a radio station. I, I build radio stations to my foundation to make the great foundation for education. And um, we built one at Mount Olive Baptist Church, but it's over there in Bergen County. And you can go there and you can tune in and it sounds cleaner than these regular radio. It sounds cleaner than some stations that I listen to sometimes. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, but you know, we have Zoom and everything too, and all these other platforms, but you're right. Youngsters know how to put it together and that's what this was built for. But the past, they got wind of it. And you said, you know what? I can do my sermons on Sunday. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. the pastor, the pastor's going on. Well, you're a youth pastor. So yeah, you're, well, you're, yeah. You're, you have access to it. Yes, so as a youth minister, well, I'm a minister, but I just work with, with the youth. Yes, right. you know, and um, my pastor definitely, definitely, it's funny. Our theme for this year is, um, let me read you the theme. The theme is so, is changing the way we do church. New uh, season, new method, same word. Yeah, and it's wow. funny because although that's our theme across the board, look at you right now right? Doing your interviews and you guys are not in the studio, everything is virtual, but we exactly. still have to make it happen no matter what's going on in this world. We have to still keep, keep focus on what the Lord wants us to do. Letitia, how did you get involved in this? How, how did you, what so I've you been, to I've been, I've been a, I've been a born again Christian for 15 years and I've been with my church that long. Yeah. And it's so, it's so weird because teaching is not something I ever thought I wanted to do. Um, and about seven, eight years ago, um, the Holy Spirit gave me a nudge saying, you're going to teach. And I was like, no, I'm not teach who I'm still learning. I'm still a baby. in Christ." Uh, Two weeks later, my pastor calls me and tells me he wanted me to join the Christian education ministry. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, the Holy Spirit can lie. That's and right. I said, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, okay, we can do this. And when the Holy Spirit told me, he said, you're going to teach teens. And I'm like, yeah. okay, teens. But when I started, I started doing the eight and nine-year-old for like eight months. It was so nerve-wracking. And yeah. then <laughs> they switched me over to the teens. And now I teach from 13 to 18. And I've been doing that group for five, six years. And yeah. I have such a big passion for that group because myself, you know, 13 years old, not liking certain things in my surrounding, you know, um, uh, thought about taking my life, thought about taking pills. And 
I had the right person in my ear at that age to say the right thing to me. So right now, the team- Now you're just, standing in the gap and yes. you can be the right person for a lot of yes. the youth who are going or feeling some of that same right. thing that you, you felt. Right. And sometimes we take their feelings, we take it for granted because the things that they zero in on, that's like heavy burden. We're looking at like, you know, we're thinking about our bills. We're thinking about, and sometimes we minimize what's a big deal to them. Yeah. And those feelings gets ignored and doesn't get addressed. You exactly. know, they didn't get to the so. bill part yet. <laughs> no, no. You know, we, we're quick to say, oh, you don't know what stress is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. So you just <laughs> wait a while, <laughs> but um, how does your, how do you uh, get into, how do you describe the work that you do with the lifestyle ministries? So our series, uh, we make it very relatable. We make it so relatable to them. One thing you don't want to do when you're in front of any audience, whether they are adults or whether they're youth, you want to make sure that you're speaking, you're speaking things that they can relate to. Number one, number two, you need to be relatable to them. So we think of topics. And one of the topics that we started was with how, how do you forgive after you've been disappointed? Cause that's real, you know? Yeah. It's like, how can we walk them through that? They don't know, some don't know the word the way we know the word. And then we need to be an example to that. You yeah. know, we talk about the things they go through with school, even with the pandemic, you know, um, how scary it was for them, what their thoughts were. You know, some lost family members too. How do you how do you still trust and believe in God after one someone in your family member was just taken away? So we really hit topics. You know, we don't sugarcoat anything, and we really you know unfold the real things that's happening to them. So we yeah. set up little. So we set up topics. You know, um, one of the topics we had boldness. How to be bold? The difference between being bold and being disrespectful. Disrespectful doesn't mean bold, you know, boldness. So that's how we navigate those series. Yeah. How can we get, uh, or, or how can more people get involved in the work that you guys are doing? I would definitely say to just reach out to our church. Our number is 914-632-3627. And definitely give a call, leave a message. If you're interested, our lifestyle series actually it's not just with the youth. Every week we provide a series, savvy singles, married couples, and discipleship. Wow. So hey. every week we change it up. Yes, this is for everybody. You know, we, yeah. we definitely wanted to make sure that everybody was able to get a piece of that action, which we also, um, we A on Thursdays at 7.30. Every there week it's just a different, it's a different topic. So y'all break bread and everything. Well, wait a minute. You were doing it virtual. Is it, are you, is it hybrid now? You can do virtual? No, it's still, virtual? it's still virtual. It's still okay. virtual. Yeah. Some pastors gives his sermons on Sunday. We have Bible study on Wednesday. Then we even have something called on Tuesdays. We have um, just 10 minutes. Somebody come on, on Tuesday just to give a word of encouragement. So we're doing a lot of stuff online, something that's yeah. new that's new for us, but you know, we're getting good feedback. Where good do we feedback. go to go online? Where can we watch you online? NUCNR.org. NUCNR.org? Dot org, yes. Ah, okay. And then we have our YouTube channel under our name, New Union Church of New Rochelle. New Union oh. Church of New Rochelle. New row yes. in the house. Right. Yes, yes. And it's not that far, believe it or not. We're not that far. No, that's the New Bronx, New Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, 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 so, oh, it's like it's part of the Bronx. It's so, kind of. it's so funny how, how things happen. Because when I was 18, 19, I would come up to New Rochelle at this club called Carib. Never oh. would have thought. Yes, yes. You know it. Never would have thought in a million years. I used to be years. the host there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love that play. Love that. You know, back. I, I was you know, the guy was on the saying. microphone. <laughs> I was doing a live broadcast back to WBLS. <laughs> Look, yes. Yes. Club career, yeah. <laughs> so it's just amazing the 360. What happens, you know, 10, 11 years later, the Lord snatched me up and now I'm going to his house. Praise dancing for him. <laughs> there you go. Right. Give us that number one more time. The number is 914-632-3627. 
There you go. New Union Church of New Rochelle. New Rochelle. Yes. Right. Thank you so much, Letitia. Thank you. Thank you for having me and letting me share. Youth Minister Letitia Davis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And praise God and may God continue to bless you and put a hedge of protection around you and your Amen. family you. and everybody in the congregation. I received that. Thank you so much. All right. All right. All right. We'll take a break. I've got more open coming up next. Don't move.